Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Jack Parsons. You can call me Jack. And today we are conducting an experiment into communicating with unworldly entities. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we have this machine here, and this machine is an electromagnet emitter. On its own, pretty worthless. I have to admit, no good for much, certainly not good for rockets. But what we've done with this machine is we have connected it up to the standard Morse code device that operates much like this. And when the trigger is pressed, it lights the bulb. When it's depressed, it doesn't light the bulb anymore. Simple. It's a usual Morse code setup. Okay? Now, what this machine does is it actually allows entities from beyond the realms of our current understanding to communicate with us via Morse code. Yeah, kind of like a Ouija board. Jack, mm -hmm. what do you hope to achieve through this? Well, what we're here today is to break through what we consider to be a barrier. And that barrier is on a ley line. And it just so happens that this specific location that we're in is on a ley line. This place, this part of the Mojave Desert. Now what we want to do is bridge that gap, this veil, that we want to peek under and see who's there. Jack, this supernatural mumbo-jumbo is... Well, now hold on a second there, because you say supernatural, but what I, what I view it as is an area of fringe science. There are a number of different concepts, a number of different ideas that we don't consider scientific, that we don't fully understand. Electricity. It's everywhere around us. We harness its raw power. Do we fully understand it? No. No, sir. So, by that very same argument, are there things beyond our realm of understanding that we are discounting as pseudoscience, that we are discounting as make-believe, that we are discounting as the paranormal, that we could actually harness for our benefit? Mr. Parsons, who are we intending to converse with this evening? Well, I will be attempting to establish contact with an entity who I know as Babylon. Now, it's worth pointing out at this stage of the seance, this ring. Now, this ring is of very important significance to me. It was actually presented to me by a good friend of mine, Alistair, when I was named the head of the Agape Lodge in Pasadena, California. Now, this ring is the medium that I'm going to use to communicate with Babylon, the entity, which is what we will refer to it as for now. Now, Babylon might be not very friendly. Babylon might be very friendly. What we need to ascertain is exactly what her intentions are, and then harness some of the power provided by her into this ring. Then we'll be able to harness the power of these entities for the betterment of mankind. Mm, gentlemen, those are all the questions that I'm going to answer at this stage. I think it is best now that we actually get started, see if we can communicate with Babylon, and then you can reserve judgment until then. Okay? Now, excuse me, I will just light a cigarette before we begin. Yes, I will be completing notes as we go along. I'll be asking Babylon simple binary questions. So, yes, no, nothing too complex, because I don't want to confuse her, and I certainly don't want to offend her. If you've dealt with demons before, you would understand this. here. I will ask 
ask Babylon to communicate in a binary way. And I will request that she does one for yes and twice for no. And that's the last time I'm going to touch this device. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So let's switch on the electromagnetic emitter. It is silent. But we've tuned to the specific frequency that is required to make contact with Babylon. I will make her aware very early on in the proceedings about the ring, just so she knows our intention, so that there's nothing that's going to be surprising to her or anything like that. What's important is that we make. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, holy smokes. <laughs> well, that's something for the boys back again. <laughs> okay. Well, we're in business. Okay. Hello, my name is Jack Parsons. I am a rocket scientist and avid occultist. Can you please press down this button once for yes and twice for no? Can you hear me and do you understand me? That's a yes. Is your name Babylon? Okay, that's a no. So unfortunately, we have not made contact with Babylon today. But that's all right. That doesn't mean this experiment is a no-go. It simply means that we have another entity on our hands. Now, are you from our realm? That's a no. Or a yes. Are you from our realm? That's a no. Were you ever from our realm? Were you ever from our realm? to know. Have you ever heard of the Ordo Templi Orionis? Well, Gen 1, I think that's a defined yes. Have you ever heard of me, Jack Parsons? Have you ever heard of me, Jack Parsons? That's a no. Are your intentions good? I'm getting a little impatient with this entity. Are your intentions good? Another to find yes, gentlemen. I'm just going to change the frequency slightly because it seems we're having some communication difficulties. Can you hear me a little bit better there? Seems we have a friendly entity. Now, on to the meat of the matter. We are mankind. We are known for wars. We are known for ravaging the planet that we inhabit. But we are known for great empathy and also great acts of kindness. Is mankind a race that you would serve? 
No. Well, that's not the end of the world. <laughs> Possibly. Do you believe that mankind will, at some point, travel to the stars? Okay. Good. Then my work wasn't completely in vain. Despite being decried a communist. Okay. I'm getting to it. This ring. Do you see it before you? This ring. No or yes? Yes. This ring represents a covenant. A covenant between mankind and your kind. Is this the covenant that you would be willing to enter? Okay. Is there a covenant that you would be willing to enter? Is there a covenant that you would be willing to enter? Okay, good. You see, gentlemen, now comes a negotiation. We want to harness the abilities of this otherworldly entity to further the betterment of mankind. Now, to some, that might seem like a folly task. Mankind is doomed. But to me, it seems like a worthy cause. And that's why I have built this machine, and that is why I have brought you to the middle of the Mojave Desert on a very hot day, in order to form an alliance with a being that could benefit and profit mankind. Now, my friend Alistair and I spoke at length about so many... Oh, I'm sorry, was I talking too much? <laughs> well, I have been criticized about that in the past. It's good to see that you have a sense of humor. So, we cannot know your name, but is there any way that you can tell us your name? And how do we do that? Well, I walked into that one, right, boys? Is there a way that we can do that? Now, we are familiar with different practices of spiritual summonings and demon exorcisms. Are any of these methodologies accurate, and would any of them help us to communicate with you in a better way? No, that's fine. Is my electromagnetic emitter helpful in communicating with us? Well, that's reassuring. At least this wasn't a complete waste of time, right, guys? <laughs> now, is there any way that I can persuade you to put some of your power into this ring? No. Are you sure? A fickle entity, huh? Do you mind if I smoke? Glad to hear it. So, Entity, I feel a little bit rude referring to you in that way, so I prefer to call you friend. Is that all right? We're off the books now, okay? Forget about the notes that I'm taking. This is just a conversation between you and me with some onlookers. What I'd like to know is, can we be friends? Well, that is reassuring. How can we be friends? No. Guys, please, this is the first time I've done this, okay? Seances are usually done holding other people's hands and knocking a table about to make it look like somewhere is haunted. This is a little bit different to that, so you're going to have to bear with me. We're all, uh, we're all feeling around in the dark here, okay? And now my cigarette has gone out. Thank you very much. Okay. I like this guy. Not a guy? 
a woman then? Ah, uh, well, femininity is divine. That is something that we were taught in the Ordo Templi Orionis very early on. It's kind of post Alistair teachings, but you catch my drift. What if I just said, uh, suggest to you that we bestow just a modicum of your power into this ring, this ring, then I put it on, and it could, in principle, improve our level of engagement. Would you be amenable to that? Did you hear that? Did any of you guys hear that? Can you repeat that? None of you guys are hearing me. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs>